Welcome to Colombia! I'm Frank and I say hi from Bogota. This video will be the first one in a series of videos we are going to produce in the next couple of weeks about all different kind of stuff in Bogota. We will show you the historic town, we will show you museums, we will show you what to do on Sundays. Everything you need to know about Bogota you will see on this channel pretty soon. Right now, I'm standing on Guadalupe. This is the second most important mountain in Bogota. There is Monserrate, which is very famous, very touristically. And usually on weekends, it's very hard to get up because so many people want to get up there. Guadalupe, in contrary, it's very calm during the week. There is almost nobody up here and you can find a huge statue and the church. The statue is like the one you find in Rio de Janeiro in Brazil. We're a little bit higher than on Monserrate. We're on 3,200 meters above sea level. The access is not that easy like Monserrate. You don't have a cable car. You have to find a private transportation or on weekends, there are public buses going up here. Today I'm also very happy to present you my deputy. I have a travel agency here in Bogota and I organize traveling for foreigners all over Colombia, tailor-made, highest quality. And Sebastian is the deputy in my company. He's not just the deputy. I think he's the most important person in my company. And also he's a professional guide. And that's why he's with us today. So he can explain what's going on, history, dates, he knows everything. So Sebastian, happy to have you here. We are on Guadalupe. What can you tell us? Uh, first of all, thank you very much for that introduction. Uh, I'm very happy to hear that. <laughs> uh, and uh, well, yeah, this is one of the most important um, places in Bogota. Um, as you said before, uh, this is just right next to Montserrat. Uh, this can be accessed by car. Uh, it's about, I don't know, this morning we took 10 minutes, 15 minutes from Bogota. So it's very, very, very close. And the view from this place is amazing. Sadly, today uh, it's a bit foggy, so we cannot see uh, the beautifulness of the city. Uh, some uh, very important facts of this place is that uh, since uh, the indigenous people were here, uh, it was a very important place. It was a sacred place for the offerings. So if you come here to Colombia, you would be um, learning a lot more about uh, our indigenous people called the Muiscas. Uh, also, uh, in just one day, even less, just in a morning, you can visit Monserrate and also Guadalupe to get to see two of the, be of the best spots to have a great view of the city of Bogota. So, a few more uh, facts of the place. Uh, after the indigenous people were here, as you might know, uh, this place was conquered by the Spaniards. Uh, so, for the Spaniards in those times, the Catholicism was very important and part of the colonization is to colonize the sacred places. So, this is the history of this place and Montserrat. Uh, when the Spaniards discovered this was a sacred place for the indigenous people, they decided to put a couple of crosses, one in each hill. Uh, as uh, you might know, uh, the highest places near the uh, important towns of the indigenous people were also sacred. And these are the, the, the examples. We are 3,260 meters above uh, the sea level. So this, is, this would be the, the highest hill in Bogota. Uh, yeah? So when they arrived here, um, put those crosses, and afterwards, some years after that, uh, they started building chapels. This is the last one. This uh, chapel we are uh, witnessing today uh, is from 1945, yeah? and the statue was placed there in 1946. So it's very interesting to come here and see how the Bogotanians behave, how, uh, wh what's the faith they have. Yeah? Uh, I, when I was a child, I used to see people coming on their knees to this kind of hill, so it's quite impressive to come to these places to get to know a bit more of the culture of Colombia. So I was just telling to Frank, we were very lucky to, to find this uh, object here uh, that was used to uh, carry the images and the statues of uh, the churches that were in the hills. 
Yeah, so they used to come here uh, several years ago, of course, uh, it's not done anymore, uh, but they used to come here to pick the images or the sculptures and then uh, carrying them down to the city. Yeah, walking would be one hour, one and a half hours. So it's very interesting to find one of these objects in this place. We, we just made new friends. A group of Colombians came along and they're from the countryside of Cundinamarca, that's the state where Bogota is the capital. And still in Colombia, the Colombians are so happy to receive tourists, foreigners, and they're really so emotional about it. So they come along and they talk and they want to take pictures and they're super happy. So if you travel in Colombia, it's worth uh, visiting also little villages which are not so touristy. The experience you will make are just awesome, they're just fantastic. Colombians are so welcoming and, and nice. And most of the women fall in love with Frank. It's very funny to <laughs> see that every time. <laughs> so now that we are here, uh, this is one of the nice spots uh, Guadalupe have. We're still in Guadalupe. The church is just behind the camera. Uh, and with this view, you can see another part of Bogota because Bogota is not just concrete and buildings and uh, cars. It's also this nature we have behind us. This is actually what keeps us breathing in the, in the city. Earlier, when we arrived, uh, you could hear a lot of birds. Yeah, so uh, it's an amazing place to come here also for birding. We're still in Guadalupe, not on the top, but a little bit before. And here are some shops and here we met Carlos. He's one of the shop owners. He sells all kinds of stuff uh, related to the church, like uh, holy pieces, crosses, everything about uh, church, pictures of Maria. And he's the only one who is open uh, right now in the morning during the week. But on the weekends there are more shops, more will open and there will be a much bigger offer. Also there will be some food. Uh, not as much, but a little bit to have a little snack. And it's not super big, but there's still something to buy. We're currently on our way to Monserrate. The good thing is, my office is in La Candelaria, the historic part, and it's just about 10 minutes' walk. Uh, important to know for people who go to Montserrat, you actually can walk. You just walk out towards north from La Candelaria and then you have this little, little river, fountain, however you want to call that. You just follow the water all the way up. And Camila, today with me. Hi. She's my multimedia professional who makes all those good videos that you see on our channel. So it's 9.30 in the morning, we're standing right in front of the station and as you can see there is no lineup which is very good and you also can walk up Montserrat which is very popular on the weekends and also in the morning there are many people walking up and the entrance for, for the hike is just over there and last time I think it took me about 40 minutes to get up, but if you want to get up there uh, you have to be aware you climb more than 400 meters. So if you're in a really bad uh, condition you shouldn't do it because I mean we're already on 2700 meters and you go up to 3100 meters. Usually people arrive to Bogota from a normal level uh, you already have uh, your body is in, in shock because uh, oxygen is just much less here and your blood thickens. So if you want to go up on the second day of the revival, uh, it will be very tough on your body. You just need to be aware of that. Oh, you want to walk, Camila? Oh no, I'm not in very good shape. So if you don't want to walk that much in this altitude, I highly recommend taking the funicular, which is way faster and way easier and it's so cool. She's lazy. <laughs> A little bit.
Bienvenidos al Cerro de Montserrat, Santuario de los Colombianos. So Sebas, what can you tell us about Montserrat? Why tourists should come here? Well, we have many reasons to come here. This is one of the main uh, touristic places uh, Bogota has. Um, it's one of the most visited. We had uh, last week Holy, Holy Week and uh, more than 70,000 people came here. So it was completely packed. So you cannot imagine people cannot walk in these Holy Weeks. It's, it's impressive. And the thing is that uh, there are several ways to come here to Montserrat. One of them is uh, walking. Yeah? Uh, we haven't done that today. <laughs> it's, it's quite tiring. It's uh, about one hour coming, uh, walking the stairs. It's just stairs all the time. So, so you see the difference? I said 40 minutes, he said one hour. <laughs> yeah, I but don't... this is about because I have much longer <laughs> legs than he has. And I stand looking at birds as well. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so, yeah, this is also a very beautiful place to see birds. This is one of the new stuff we are working on at uh, Pelecanos and the new brand Sule. Uh, it's a wonderful place to do it. Uh, if you look around in this place, uh, you will see a lot of uh, plants, a lot of trees uh, flourishing all the time. Yeah, this is the beautiful thing about the tropical zones. Uh, we have all the time flowers for the birds, so there, are, there is a lot of biodiversity here as well. So the church we're seeing here in the background, uh, what is this about? What can you tell us about this one? Okay, this church uh, is not that old. This church is actually from the beginning of the 20th century. The thing is that we've had several earthquakes in this part of the, of the, of the, of the country. It's not very common, but we've had them. These earthquakes destroyed the, the previous uh, churches because they would have the structure to resist these kind of earthquakes. So this one is from 1917. Um, and it's totally earthquake proof. Uh, I have no idea. I don't it's, think it's so. totally <laughs> earthquake proof. <laughs> well, at least this place, I, I hope so. Yeah, uh, we can see Guadalupe from here as well, from yeah. from here. So the story of these two places is actually almost the same. Um, when the Spaniards arrived, they found here a community called the Muiscas, yeah, the Chipchas. Uh, this community was the indigenous people that inhabited these lands, yeah, in the central part of Colombia. Uh, all the savannas you will see when when you come here to visit. All of this was uh, part of their territory. Yeah? When they arrived here, they arrived to a town just down here in Monserrate, what we know now as La Candelaria. They were looking for the Sipa that was the chieftain of these, uh, of these uh, communities. Yeah? He was the boss of the community. They were chasing him. So they knew that uh, part of the colonization is not just uh, by force, killing all of the indigenous, but changing the faith of them. If you're not too attached to history and culture and stuff, coming up, it's worse because you have a 360 view on one side you see the whole city of Bogota which today has like eight nine or ten millions and on the other side it's just woods it's all green there's no buildings there's nothing and it's very cool to see this contrast and it's just the perfect place to take selfies of course <laughs> these woods keep us breathing all the time yeah these fields uh, as a very fresh place to be uh, and to go away from all this uh, civilization and all this uh, movement of, of the busy city. Yeah? In this place we are watching right now a recovery of the flora and fauna of, of Bogota. So in this place we can see several um, species of, of trees, for example the Mano de Oso, we can see the Borrachero that has a, a very important place in history. The Borrachero is a, it's a, a tree that holds in the, in the flowers a very powerful chemical. Yeah? The indigenous people used to use it to, to go to another state of mind. Uh, it was sacred, a sacred tree. We can see also Siete Cueros, we can see a lot of eucalyptus. As you know, it's not from here, it's, it comes from Australia. And uh, we don't have koala bears to eat it. So the eucalyptus spreads very fast. Uh, and it was used at the beginning to reforest these uh, mountains because since the mid 16th century we've used all the woods from the mountains so it was very erosionated uh, so they decided the people from uh, the beginning of the 20th century to start planting these trees and we see the resultants right now with the many many birds we, we can see in this place and here for example we can see one of the sculptures 
uh, of the Stations of the Cross, as in every single uh, religious place in Colombia you find in cathedrals, the Stations of the Cross. These were brought by, uh, from Florence uh, in the mid-20th century, and uh, this is the remaining of the Holy Week. Uh, we, uh, a lot of people came here, uh, we still have most of the population of Colombia uh, Catholic, and they came here to do some uh, offering, flower offering to the sculptures and to the, to the fallen Lord of Montserrat, that is the sculpture in the inside of the main church. Uh, and you can see the remainings of these uh, flowers. So when you come to Montserrat, you can also explore the gastronomy from Bogota, from uh, Colombia. We have the Santa Clara restaurant, for example, uh, that offers one of the most typical uh, beverages we have uh, in Bogota that is called the uh, Chocolate Santa Ferena. That is uh, chocolate, cheese, and you have to dip the cheese into the chocolate. So it's this uh, uh, mixture between the salty and the sweetness is delicious. And the other one is the Agua Panela con Queso. Agua Panela is made with panela. Panela is uh, the purest state of sugar. Uh, and uh, this, uh, they make uh, this beverage that is uh, sweet, but it's the perfect sweetness. It's also very, very delicious. Uh, the other restaurant we have here is the San uh, Isidro restaurant. This uh, restaurant is uh, a mixture between the, the Colombian and French cuisine. So it's also very, very nice to come to this restaurant. It's open to, until uh, midnight. And uh, well, you can imagine the view from this place is uh, just amazing with all the lights from the city. Uh, with a romantic dinner is just perfect. Here in Montserrat we can also find the market. In the market you can also find uh, several kind of uh, crafts. Yeah, you find for example there is one that is very particular. It's like the leg of the cow or of the bull. Uh, and in the inside they put like a bottle to hold a kind of liquor. And also a lot of bags, magnets as well. Uh, so you find a lot of products in here that it's worth to come and see. So that's it for today. Uh, thank you for watching our tour to Montserrat. Please subscribe our channel. Leave any comment what you want to see in the future. If you want to know whatever, uh, click the bell as well. So yeah. see you next time. Bye. Bye.